A sign of solidarity in memory of Joyce Eshaquan ahead of a difficult day for her family. The video Eshaquan filmed from her hospital bed showing staff mocking her and making racist remarks was played in the courtroom for the first time. It's what led to this inquiry and it left Eshaquan's family in tears. They also heard testimony from an orderly who is recorded on the video, whose name is under a publication ban. She said her comments, telling Eshaquan she had made bad choices and asking her what her children would think to see her like this, were misinterpreted and not meant to be unkind. But the coroner said her tone was full of judgment. I think everybody was uh, stunned by uh, the way she was explaining herself. Uh, it's kind of hard to, to hear. In other testimony, nurses and orderlies detailed the hours before Eshaquan's death, how she became agitated, was sedated, restrained to her bed, then left unsupervised. When an orderly went into her room later, she said Eshaquan didn't appear to be breathing. We have heard a very long list of uh, shortcomings in the hospital uh, administration of the emergency room, including uh, the uh, use of restraints on, uh, on patients, essentially, that, 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 that was done completely outside of the established protocol. Eshaquan's video raised the issue of racism in the healthcare system. Michelle Odette is a commissioner for the National Inquiry into Murdered and Missing Indigenous Women and Girls. She's here to support Eshaquan's family. The provincial government and the federal government cannot pretend now that mm, it's an isolated situation, but it's a situation that woke us up so badly that we need now to act. The orderly in the video said if she could do it again, she would be more delicate in her comments. A lawyer for the Atikamekw Council of Manawan, where Eshaquan was from, said he was insulted by her testimony. The inquiry is expected to hear from more health care workers tomorrow. Alison Northcott, CBC News, Trois-Rivières, Quebec.